Poetry in Place, episode five. Out in the news today, or maybe yesterday, is the fact that all, um, as of the article I read, I don't know, an hour or two ago, all of the people in St. Louis City who have died from COVID-19 are African American. And in St. Louis County, African Americans account for four times as many people infected as white folks. So they're represented disproportionately. Now, this is not new, nor is it something that we didn't expect, but it's frustrating on a deep level, especially if you get paid money to think about these things and try to figure out how to do something about them, like I do. So, um, but something that's important to keep in mind in my experience is that that's not the only, that's not the entirety of the story of those human beings who died and those human beings who are infected with this virus. Um, they're people and they're humans with names and families and jobs and children and siblings and likes and dislikes and personalities and stories. So while I think it is critical to um, figure out how to change those systems, I think it's also really important to remember the human side. Which made me think of a poem by Ross Gay, um, who has a book. Uh, his book published in 2015 is called A Catalog of Unabashed Gratitude, which I haven't read yet, but I've heard him interviewed several times, and he is just a pure delight. Um, I recommend his interview with the Poet Salon podcast and the interview he did with Rachel Zucker on the Commonplace podcast, both of which are, um, he's just very calming to listen to. Um, so this poem is called A Small Needful Fact. Uh, I will link it in the description um, from the Academy of American Poets website. But um, this is about Eric Garner, the man who was killed in New York um, back in 2013, I believe. Um, and the officers who killed him were acquitted. But Ross Gay reminds us that that's not the end of, nor the entirety of Eric Garner's story. So a small needful fact is that Eric Garner worked for some time for the Parks and Rec Horticultural Department, which means perhaps that with his very large hands, perhaps in all likelihood, he put gently into the earth some plants, which most likely some of them in all likelihood continue to grow continue to do what such plants do, like house and feed small and necessary creatures, like being pleasant to touch and smell, like converting sunlight into food, like making it easier for us to breathe. I get goosebumps every time I finish that poem. Um, amidst all of this, death, there is life, and we struggle to find it sometimes, but when we do, it's a pretty amazing thing. So thanks, Ross Gay. Thanks to y'all. Peace.